Lisa successfully made her comeback with her latest single, Rockstar. Lisa performed exceptionally in this comeback. With a fully English song, Lisa captivated fans with energetic dance moves, a fresh vocal tone, and an overall music video that exceeded fans' expectations. In this latest single, Lisa showcased her talents by directly participating in the songwriting and composing process. Lisa surprised fans with her role as both a writer and composer in this comeback. As of the time this video was made, Lisa had garnered over 15 million views and 2 million likes within just 8 hours of its release. Lisa also topped iTunes in 20 countries worldwide, and this number is expected to continue growing. She currently holds the number one spot on YouTube trending worldwide and is in the top 10 on iTunes USA. Lisa also became a worldwide trending topic on Twitter with over 2 million tweets. After previous reports that 2NE1 would hold discussions with Yang Hyun Suk, YG Entertainment has finally spoken out about this matter. YG Entertainment confirmed that Yang Hyun Suk met with 2NE1 on June 27 and hinted at good news coming in the future. In a statement shared with various media outlets, including Sports Chosen, YG Entertainment shared how Yang Hyun Suk met with all four members of 2NE1, ZL, Park BOM, Sandara Park, Minzi, at YG Entertainment's building in the Hapjong district of Seoul. Yang Hyun Suk warmly welcomed 2N1, and their meeting lasted for around two hours, with meaningful conversations being held. YG Entertainment also provided information regarding 2NE1's comeback, revealing that a 2NE1 project is likely to be announced soon. Fans are increasingly excited to anticipate the legendary K-pop group's return. Jenny won the Best Actress in an International Series Award for her role in the HBO series The Idol. Since her debut as an actress on the Hollywood stage, Jenny has successfully become a major spotlight. Although the series did not run perfectly, Jenny's debut as an actress successfully garnered attention, and she even became the first K-pop soloist to top the monthly listener chart among other K-pop artists. At the SEC Awards 2024, Jenny successfully took home the award for Best Actress in an International Series. Baby Monster successfully began their promotional activities in Thailand, starting with a fan meeting at Paragon Hall, Bangkok a while ago. On June 27, Baby Monster appeared as a guest on a radio show for an interview with Thai radio station Flex 104.5. Like many Korean radio programs, fans were lucky enough to be able to see the group before, during, and after the interview. However, an unexpected incident among fans drew attention. Outside the recording studio, fans were seated in rows behind tape, waiting as the group completed the interview. This was likely done to allow fans to see Baby Monster during the interview. In a clip posted on X, formerly Twitter, that now has over 3 million views, a staff member can be seen addressing someone identified by fans as a fan site. The fan site then charges at the staff member to fight. Almost instantly, the staff member incapacitates the fan site as security rushes over to escort them out. The fan site continues to struggle as they are escorted out, taking a swing at a security guard as the video ends. According to fans at the event, the individual was not following rules and attempting to cut in front of others. Speaking of Baby Monster, today they appeared fresh on a local Thai TV show, Morning News. This marked Baby Monster's debut on a local Thai TV show since their official debut and also made them the first K-pop idols to appear directly on Thai television. Rose wowed the public with her visuals at the Andam Fashion Awards yesterday. Previously, Rose was officially announced as one of the judges for the 2024 Andam Fashion Awards held in Paris. Rose appeared in a semi-formal outfit with her signature blonde hair. She also participated in the after-party of the Andam Fashion Awards. Rose was seen wearing a black dress that added an elegant touch to her appearance. Her presence as a judge at this award event became a worldwide trending topic with the tagline Andam Jury Rose. On June 26, Rise recorded for ENA K-Pop Up Chart Show, a new program focused on changing the music show experience for idols and fans. The group was interviewed and performed their latest releases, much to the excitement of fans. In addition to performing Impossible, Rise also performed Boom Boom Bass. During the performance of the high-energy track, Anton can be seen slipping as his ankle bends, resulting in him falling on the ground. Though Anton got back up and was able to finish the recording, fans were still extremely concerned for the idol. 
Later that day, Anton was active on Weverse, and after thanking fans for their latest music show Win This Comeback Cycle, he addressed the incident. He shared that the stage had been slippery, leading to his fall, but that he was okay. Jamin from NCT officially opened his first photo exhibition titled Narcissism Today. Held in Yongsangu, Seoul, Jamin's first photo exhibition will be open to the public starting tomorrow, June 29. This photo exhibition will showcase all of Jamin's work in the field of photography. Jamin's photography displays various memories with his group, NCT Dream, depicted through the main tagline Narcissism, my youth filled with dreams and the expression I'm pleased to share all the moments that I felt and watched with Chenny. Jamin's photo exhibition showcases various memories with NCT Dream, depicted through the display of photographs showing NCT Dream members. Jamin's work can also be enjoyed by fans worldwide through the Narcissism photo book. Speaking of art exhibitions, Aria recently participated in an art exhibition held on June 23. According to the announcement shared by Esper Entertainment, Aria's artwork was showcased in the HWA 100 Art Exhibition, which took place over four days at SeaTac 7-3 Exhibition Hall. Aria's artwork displayed at the exhibition was Lay Bear, a piece of art that describes an indescribable sense of doubt. It features a woman seemingly hiding among symmetrical Bart-style carvings. Aria explained that it took more than 50 hours to complete this artwork. She mentioned that she had to set aside her practice time to work on this painting, which has profound meaning and is very relatable to what many K-pop idols feel today. Aria also mentioned that this is the piece she hates and loves the most due to the long process and deep meaning behind it. Aria became the first fifth-generation K-pop idol to debut her artwork in an art exhibition. Speaking of Exxon, they will be performing at the Asia Model Festival Face of Korea event on July 4. Escrow Entertainment is currently asking fans to participate in this event. Exxon is scheduled to perform at 7 p.m. KST. Fans can watch Exxon's performance by showing proof of official XIN light sticks, physical albums of the real Exxon, and various other requirements that will be distributed based on the ranking of submissions. Still talking about Exxon, the voting process for Dream Rookie is still ongoing. So far, Exxon remains stagnant in fifth place. Voting will continue until July 15, so make sure Exxon can rise to the top three positions. The fan voting rewards on MyPick have now been released. Exxon's promotional advertisement in Gangnam for the MyPick Choice Rookie voting has been aired and will run until June 30.